Okay, today we are going to attack some roses and fruit trees and some grapevines. It's unseasonably warm. We're almost 60 degrees today. And our first plant of choice is going to be this rose. Normally I would leave it another couple of weeks, but since the weather is so great, we're going to hit it today. I like to leave it because all of these plants, because the, the uh, birds actually eat little bugs and stuff on them and like the apple tree right there in front of me it still has apples on it and they will actually eat the apples so today's tools of choice I got my small little pruners here the red handled ones they will do probably 95% of the work today if I get a real tough branch I will hack it down with the little saw there handsaw and then this this little pruner here will be for the bigger ones that my hand pruner doesn't get and if it looks like it's too big for that one and not a big enough for the saw then I'll use my big ratcheting pruners here and that is going to be the first one we are going to hit. We're going to put all these in a little container and go put them on our compost pile. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to tell you how I do this pruning here. There is a lot of canes growing up in the middle. One of the keys to roses is to get it so the air can flow through them that will uh, help the powdery and mildew situation so I've had pretty good luck with it doing it that way um, another thing as you can see well it's not focusing well but it is starting to bud out so we'll take an out facing bud say like this one right here facing the outside of the plant and I will just snip it off and now that will produce new growth to the outside of the plant which is where you want everything to keep growing is towards the outside now this is too tall I will take mine down between 12 inches and 2 feet depending on where the strongest buds look everybody says oh no less than 12 no more than 18 and i'm kind of like you know the plant really doesn't care that much this plant here is over six feet tall and it was pruned back last year so they just they grow really well but i would never go less than 12 inches there are a lot of little, little ones coming off there, little canes, and I would, uh, I will be cutting all of those off. This one here was neglected for a couple of years, so now I'm back into retraining it. So I'm slowly cutting more and more growth off every year to make it a much healthier plant. This one here was transplanted when we moved here 10 years ago. It's been here for 10 years. It's got a really nice pink flower on it. And it just, it just blooms all summer long. So anyway, I'll give it a little pruning here and then I'll show you what we come up with. Okay. We've got about two thirds of this rose bush knocked down. I forgot to mention that I like to do this in stages. I will prune it way down close to where I want the final product to be. And then after that, I will take the best looking canes and make them my main canes. And 
they say anywhere from four to eight canes is all you need per plant but as i look at this plant it's kind of like three different you've got a group over there you got a group right down here and you got a group over there so it's like three different plants in one so i'll, I'll probably leave you know 15 16 on here anyway and i will take all the dead ones out against the back there and then most everything out of the middle will come out and then i will start whittling away on some of these i mean some of them are real short there's some dead stuff there's some tall stuff so it's just all a process that took me oh 10 15 minutes to do the first part and it'll probably take me 20 minutes at least to do the rest of it here because i'm going to be examining it a little bit better cutting all the dead stuff out that's number one from here now and then number two we'll be getting all the most all of the canes out of the middle there's one or two big ones that i will leave in there for now i don't want to prune it back too hard each year because eventually you do that and it could kill the plant so i had some people that were from i think illinois or indiana something like that that come out and volunteered in the city's rose garden and they were always pruning in like October and I'm like no you don't do that and they did it two or three years of me telling them no don't do that and finally I got it to where they were not allowed in to prune anymore because they were killing the rose bushes it's the wrong time here so I'm gonna get the bigger pruners out now and we're gonna attack this thing we're gonna make it pretty and I'll show you uh, some more progress in a minute all right, here's the rose bush now. You see, I got the middle of it all cleaned out. Got a couple of funky looking branches over here. Cleaned up the ground around underneath it. it should do very well this year. At least I'm hoping so. All right, one rose bush down, about seven more to go.